Welcome to the next E Academy episode. Today we will present ABAX2, the new two way wireless system. At first, we will comment on some information about the system, while in the next part of the video, we will present the devices that make up the system. Let's get into the details then. Similarly to the ABAX system, which has been available since 2005, communication in the ABAX2 system takes place bi-directionally. This means that in any case, after having received the transmission, the device receiving the signal sends back an acknowledgement. Thus, you can be sure that the information that came out from the transmitter has been delivered. In addition, it allows you to verify the presence of individual system components in real time. Security of data transmission between ABAX2 devices is provided by AES encryption with a key length of 128 bits. You can learn more about the AES advanced encryption algorithm from the animation. In ABAX2, similarly as in ABAX system, radio communication takes place in the 868 MHz frequency band. A new solution used by the presented wireless system is the so-called diversification of transmission channels. In this case, four channels have been allocated in the frequency band used. The advanced radio system used in the ABAX2 device is continuously analyzing the level of interference in each of these channels. This allows data to be transmitted where the interference level is lowest and communication is the most reliable. This issue has also been discussed in more detail and presented in the form of animations available on YouTube and Vimeo websites. Thanks to the above mentioned state of the art radio system and antennas designed individually for each device, the ABAX2 system is characterized by excellent range and quality of radio communication. The distance between the controller of the wireless system and the devices that work together with it can be up to 2,000 meters in open area. That is more than twice the height of Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which is currently the tallest building in the world. Another characteristic feature of the ABAX2 system is the long operation of the battery-powered devices. Advanced mechanisms of energy saving, as well as the Eco Mode option, enable long operation of these devices without battery replacement for up to 8 years depending on the product and its configuration. Okay, let's now discuss areas of application of the new wireless system. To be able to indicate them, we will discuss the individual devices. Let's start the presentation with the most important items, which are the ABAX2 controllers, ACU220 and ACU280. Both modules can be used to build new wireless alarm systems, or to expand existing systems based on the Intrica, Intrica Plus and Versa alarm control panels. The controllers are connected to the communication bus as expanders of wireless devices. The ACU220 controller can work in the standalone mode and it also allows expansion of any alarm system or automation system by adding ABAX2 wireless devices. We say then that the AC220 serves as a universal module of wireless devices. If this is the case, the built-in programmable inputs and programmable outputs available on the controller's printed circuit board are used for interaction with the above-mentioned control panels, controllers and other devices. For the ACU220, the so-called diversification of antennas is also worth mentioning. To keep the communication parameters as good as possible, the module to receive transmissions will automatically select one of its antennas. Which one? This depends on the strength of received signal. Let's get back for a while to the ACU280, the smaller controller. With its compact dimensions, it requires little space for installation. In addition, the PC board of this module can be placed in a special holder, A2 mount, intended for installation inside the OPU4P enclosure. This ensures not only convenience, but also aesthetic appearance of the system. In addition to controllers, the ABAX2 wireless two-way system includes a number of devices of various types. Now let's take a look at each of them briefly. The first two are APD200 and APD200 PET wireless passive infrared detectors. They differ in that the APD200 PET detector has the function of PET's movement immunity. On the other hand, creep zone control can be enabled in the APD200 detector. In addition, two interchangeable front ends are available for the detector. One with the long range LR type lens and the other with the vertical curtain CT type lens. 
The third model of the detector, which has the same outward appearance as the first two, is the APMD250 wireless dual technology motion detector. The next two detectors are the AOD210 Outdoor Dual Tech Motion Detector and the AOCD260 Outdoor Dual Tech Curtain Detector. These are new versions of the well-known AOD200 and AOCD250 models. Now we will discuss the devices that have been installed in slim and compact enclosures. The first of them is the AGD200 Wireless Glass Break Detector. The other one is the AXD200 Wireless Universal Detector. It is an entirely new type of device. Its universal character lies in the fact that, before enrolment of the detector into the system, the installer can choose its operation mode. The AXD200 can work as a magnetic contact, a two-channel magnetic contact, a magnetic contact with roller shutter input, a shock detector, magnetic contact, a reorientation detector, a temperature detector, a flood detector. The ABAX2 system can also include wireless detectors that detect the early signs of a fire. We're talking here about two devices, the ASD200 wireless smoke and heat detector and the ASD250 wireless smoke detector. It should be noted that ASD250 can work as an autonomous detector, which is confirmed by a certificate of compliance with EN 14604. The ABAX2 system includes also two wireless acoustic optical sirens. ASP215, the smaller one of them, is intended for indoor operation. ASP200, the other one, is mounted in a larger enclosure and can be installed outdoors. The available devices of the ABAX2 system also include the APT200 two-way remote control key fobs. One of the new products is the ASW210, a 230V AC two-channel in-wall wireless controller that can be very useful in the implementation of the building automation functions. Another device is the ASW200 wireless 230V AC controller. It is designed for remote switching on-off of devices connected to the main socket. It comes with a version with an E, Euro and F, Shuko socket. For expansion of the ABAX2 system with wired devices, two expanders can be used. Each of them has four inputs and four programmable outputs. The miniature model comes with OC type outputs. The bigger version has relay outputs. A further two devices of a new type are the ADD200 wireless outdoor dusk and temperature detector, and the ABP200 wireless panic button. To effectively increase the operation range of the ABAX2 system, the ARU200 radio signal repeater is used. It is responsible for retransmitting radio signals from devices located outside the controller operating range. However, it does not support the keypads that we will mention in a moment. The ARF200 is used to test the level of the radio signal of ABAX2 devices. It allows you to check the strength of the radio signal received and sent by wireless devices. This makes it easier to choose and the right place for their installation. For more advanced diagnostics, the ABAX2 soft program is used. The program will also be used to configure the wireless system where the ACU220 controller works as a universal module of wireless devices. In a situation where ACU220 and ACU280 operate as expanders of the Integra, Integra Plus and Versa control panels, the ABAX2 system devices are programmed from the DLODEX configuration program. It should be added that wireless keypads can also work with the ABAX2 controllers INT KWRL2 for the Integra and Integra Plus control panels and Versa KWRL2 for the Versa control panels. To get more information about the ABAX2 system and its components, please use the download links under this video. And now important information that will surely interest the installers. New versions of the firmware for the ABAX2 devices can be installed remotely. These devices are updated automatically after updating the system controller firmware. This process runs in the background and does not interrupt their normal work. The exception is the ASD250 wireless smoke detector. In its case, the option of automatic remote firmware update is not available. Devices of the ABAX2 system meet the stringent requirements of EN50131 for Grade 2. This applies to controllers, detectors, sirens and keypads.
Finally, a mention should be made of the compatibility of ABAX2 and ABAX wireless system devices. Only devices of the ABAX2 system can be enrolled into the ABAX2 controllers, that is, ACU220 and ACU280. As for the ABAX system controllers, that is ACU120 and ACU270, they can work both with the ABAX as well as the ABAX2 system devices. However, in this case, it would be mentioned that the functionality of the ABAX2 devices will be limited. For example, radio transmission will take place only on one channel of the 868 MHz frequency band. The range of such communication will also be much shorter. It should also be noted that the device that cannot work with the controllers of the first version of the wireless system is the AIU200 radio signal repeater. Let's recap. The wireless alarm solutions are successfully used both in business premises and in residential buildings. The ABAX2 system is ideal for comprehensive protection of the premises, both the building itself and the area around it. This system is also a good choice when implementing the building automation functions. One of the many advantages of the ABAX2 wireless system is the possibility of easy and quick expansion. Devices that make up this system do not have to be permanently assigned to their installation locations. If necessary, their location can be changed to match the rearrangement of the premises, or they can even be moved to another part of these premises. Finally, it's worth emphasizing that thanks to the use of encrypted two-way radio communication, the ABAX2 system offers the level of security that until recently has only been available in traditional wired installations. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next episode of the eAcademy. See you soon.